Where you get your hand up for free, you do our hand for free? I guess. You do our hand for free. We're still working on the game. Turn the knob. Don't mind him. Hi. Some water. Suddenly, oh, water. Looks like there's not a shortage of Avion over there. No. Or I know exactly. There's a lot of tequila. No. 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 I can take a bottle to the house. Yeah. Yeah, we can do that. Oh, Ebro's gonna give it up. I don't know why he's running. Oh wow, look at Weezy. I like the project, man. Appreciate it, man. Yeah. Thank you. I, my, my favorite joint is the Tonight joint. Yeah, I like that. Man. Yeah, that's a sub. I like that. That's what I like to hear. Yeah. <laughs> is that a countdown show or something? I have no idea. I just told me where to be at and what time. Hmm. Let's see what's going on. And then that's it. How long are you actually in New York for? I think I'm here till Wednesday night. I'm going to the um, new work show with Drake and them tomorrow. Okay. Tuesday and then we come back and then, um, yeah, I'm leaving Wednesday, go back to Atlanta. So you're still, home base is still Atlanta mm -hmm. okay. for now? Yeah, for now. For now like, that's where my mom is, so. <laughs> okay. So I just go back and check in. Between Atlanta, New York, and LA, like where do you feel like you're spending the most uh, time though, like work-wise? Uh, uh, new York? And then LA, and then Atlanta, you know? Like, yeah. Have you started recording in New York? Yeah, I did. I was recording on Saturday. Nice. Yeah. Um, okay. Oh, uh, screen thing like Check, check, check. Check, check, check. Right, cool. 97. And um, I wanted to bring this guy over here for a while. I mean, I'm really happy that you're in New York. Um, your girl Miss Info with McConan. Now, a lot of people. I feel like are only introduced it to you recently because of the Drake remix. Yeah. So it's kind of like this out of the blue thing. Like, oh, Drake has a new artist. Yeah. His name is McConan. Yeah. This song is popping. I like it. Yeah. This new Drake song. Yeah. Um, but you know the reality is is very that moment. How did that happen? Um, uh, I, it was. I remember it being a rough Monday. Okay. You know, and we were like really going through it, and like um, I just met back up with my friends for the rest of the night, you know, just to calm down and you know, like, you know, have the good vibes and everything, and you know, prepare for the next day. And then um, we, I was on Twitter, like Sunny Digital told me a few days before that Drake reached out and wanted to get on the, the track, or whatever. And I was like, yeah, for sure, some the beat, and whatever. And so, so they, you were already hype about that. That yeah, but it wasn't really, deal. yeah, it wasn't, nobody said for sure if it was really. It didn't feel real. Happen. Yeah. Okay. So it was like, okay, yeah, sure. I thought maybe, you know, he wanted to rap, you know, on the beat before he was going to do a mixtape. I don't know what, what was going to happen. So I didn't really sweat it. I was like, okay, cool. Yeah, sure. And um, so I was just going on about my day still recording. Like I was in the studio with Mike Will the whole day before that night, before the um, Drake remix came out and shit. And so, um, you know, it was just, we was just still going through everything and it was like working hard and then I was going I was going home and it was feeling like, damn, here we go again, another day home, like 3 a.m., and I feel like we still haven't got anything really accomplished other than, you know, I've came to the studio and made more songs and right. whatever, whatever. But it's, the block is still there or, or the, the work is still yeah. never ending. Yeah, okay. still never ending. And so um, I went over to my friend's house and we were chilling and then like somebody tweeted me, Drake and McConaughey's song would be fire or it is fire. And I was like, yeah, that would be dope. And then somebody uh, tweeted me the link, and then I was like, no way, you know? Yeah. So I played it for my friends and shit, and then I heard, you know, my chorus and shit. And I was like, oh, this is probably somebody just going to add an old Drake verse, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah like some bootleg remix. Yeah, yeah, some bootleg Mashup, uh-huh. And then I heard him rapping, and it was just like, wow. I, I, 
you know, I couldn't believe it. Yeah. It was just so, you know, like, I came from my bedroom making music in my room and, like, really grassroots in the streets. Like, we weren't, I mean, we always knew about Drake and all the other popular artists, but we were never really, like, sort of, like, I don't know, doing things to catch their attention. You know, like, how certain people were like, oh, I'll show up here, so yeah. hopefully they can see me. It was just like, we were just doing us, you know what I'm saying? And just going hard, doing our thing, and it just... You know, it just started catching on. I guess they were taking notice, and they really liked it, and they jumped on the track. You know, it's genuine. So it's it funny was. because, like, now, you know, McCona can tell this story and, and be very sort of calm and, and, and walk me through it. But, you know, I, I really encourage everybody to see that video because <laughs> you, like, flipped in the yeah. most adorable you know not to you know yeah. not to like take anything away from your manliness but it was <laughs> no, an no. adorable moment yeah. um i do think it's interesting too that you're saying that it's not something that you were overtly going out of your way to get near somebody yeah and you know i think it, especially in atlanta where there are so many music stars you know at the mall you know at the fast food joint yeah you always hear stories about somebody just kind of knowing that this, you know, this star is going to be around sooner or later, waiting around, waiting around, waiting around, and then when the moment came up, doing an entire routine and yeah. then getting signed. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's something that you hear. I don't know whether it's like a Justin Bieber thing or yeah. what. Mm -hmm. So, knowing that you had put kind of all of your eggs in this basket, and this is what you wanted to do and you felt like this is what you were meant to do, why is it that you didn't, you know, like, is it... A pride thing or is it just not your personality or did you feel like it was going to happen no nah, it's funny it? i've reached out i've reached out to everybody in atlanta damn near you know what i'm saying i was outside of studios telling people like yo let's record let's get on tracks and they was just playing me you know what i'm saying they was yeah. just like eh, whatever yeah okay you got a few little songs we see your youtube videos how we laugh at them it's cool but it's nothing serious you know what i'm saying we're not trying to get in the studio whatever whatever and so I was like, all right, and then I, I met Metro and Sunny, and mm -hmm. they are serious, you know what I'm saying? They're like, yo, come by any time, let's get the work in. I went by their house, I went by Metro's house the first night, and we made six songs in the one night, and like four of the songs are on the EP, you know what I'm wow. saying? Wow, what, and this was back in? March, this was like March of this, of year? this year, yeah. What do you this brand new come out, they're just kind of like, you know, a lot of people want to, it, it has to be accepted and okay first from others before people start saying, okay, oh yeah, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, now I want to work with you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it was like, I've been there, I was very, um, what do you call it, um, accessible, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, and all that, but it was just, I guess people were afraid to take the risk of doing something different because they're afraid of the way they'll be looked at or the way, you know, what if Drake didn't like it? That's how a lot, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, what if they worked with me and Drake was like, oh, that shit's whack, and then, you know, they felt like, oh, yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So that's that's how a lot of people think. They always think about what, what other people think and what instead of what they think and what they feel is right. So did he find a song? How did, you know, he decide that he wanted to... I don't know really how he found it and all that, other than he said he was just really digging it and he liked it and mm -hmm. uh, it was different, you know, and it was, you know, uh, you know, they, he just liked it, you know. He Do you think he's up on the rest of, of your music? Like, has he, has he listened yeah, to it? Yeah, yeah, when I, when I first met him, he was rapping me lyrics to every song but Tuesday, you know what I'm wow. saying? Wow. Yeah, and I was just like, wow, <laughs> that's crazy, you know, I didn't know, you know, that you <laughs> it's just weird, you know what I'm saying? But because, that's going to happen to you a lot, I think, yeah, you know, yeah. that's, that's the... The life that you lead now, you know, the Drake versus Wheezy tour yeah. came to New York, and everybody was really excited because they saw you there on the side of the stage. Yeah. So it's like, okay, McConan's here, Drake versus Wheezy. Why didn't you end up joining him on stage? <laughs> what happened? I don't know. I didn't. That's, that's... There were, like you were invited to come. Yeah. By Drake. Yeah. But there was no discussion at all about you actually performing the song nah not yet i mean it was i mean i don't know I, from where i got from it was drake versus Lil wayne tour and when i saw the whole show i, I didn't see him bring out nobody you know right. like both parties bring out anybody so i was like this is their show you know what i'm saying this is this is what they've been building this is what they've been doing before you know what i'm saying um well, we go into the club afterward and you know yeah. performed it and had fun and stuff so but I, nobody or you at any point was like dude it's Tuesday. Like, yeah. we are literally here, and it's a Tuesday, and we're going up. Like, yeah. I don't know. They are, I, I don't know. You I know, know that, I know you're, you're, you know, you're new to that, that crew, so it's not like you wanted to tap him on the shoulder and just be like, 
bro, just a reminder, it's <laughs> yeah, it's nah, actually Tuesday. I would hate that. <laughs> I, just, I, I know, you know what I'm saying? I try to think about um, different people's positions as well. But I would, if I was him, I would have like, yo, chill, B. Chill, like, I don't care what day of the yeah, week it is. Like, you know, when we're ready for that, we're going to get that. You know what I'm saying? So right. I'm, I'm just here. I'm thankful to be here, you know what I'm saying? Right. And be a part of everything. I'm not trying to stress nothing and force nothing. And I feel like that's thirstiness and that's ungratefulness, okay. you know what I'm saying? And I just don't come from that, you know what I'm saying? So, so admirable. But <laughs> word. upcoming tour only shows on Tuesdays. Just an idea. Just <laughs> putting it out there. I mean, I am doing this. I'm going to the New York show on Tuesday in Jersey, so. You never know. Please. I mean, <laughs> there were people in the audience like, this has got to happen just because of, you know, everything yeah. coming together at once. Yeah. Um,